Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares. Today I'm going to show you how to create an outdoor scene that's really layered up and you know looks really cool. So without further ado, let's uh, get the tutorial started. So we're going to go up to create and as you know we'll create, um, we'll create a floor. Got a nice floor here. And then what we'll do is we'll add some grass. So to do that, you just go into your packs and go down to set and grass. And voila, we've got some cool grass. Now this is 2D grass, so it's not 3D, but it's cool because it does follow you around in the scene, as you can see. So, you know, it gives that cool kind of 3D effect. So um, not the grass we're looking for, so we'll undo that and we'll just scroll down, but they haven't got the grass we're looking for. So we're gonna need to add a texture. Now, if you've got this pack, um, PBR 200 you'll know that you've got some amazing textures in there and the great thing about them is they actually got to 4k substance PBR 200 now these textures actually go up to 4k and uh, you know it's really really cool because you can actually amend them as you go so if we just type in grass we can see we've got two um, different variations and I like the plain one so we'll kind of go for the plain grass now you can see um, you know it looks quite large doesn't look um, accurate to scale so we're going to just scale that properly we'll go into our textures panel don't forget and that's how you kind of um, mess around with all your materials and we'll go straight to our UV settings here now you want to keep effect all channels clipped and lock ratio if you want to save yourself some time that will just ensure that this ratio here is also changed along with this one and we'll just set that to three now we can see that looks um, you know a bit more in proportion I may set that again to four. And now we can see, you know, we've got some really cool looking grass. Now, what we can do is we can also scroll down here and we can come into mm, our substance, I believe. And we can start to play around with the output size. As you can see, it's 512 by 512. So that's quite a very low resolution. Just want to change that to 2K, which is 2048 by 2048 and now we can start to see that that looks much more like grass texture and you know much more high high quality so we've got our grass and this is a start of creating an outdoor scene now we might want to add some leaf density to that so we can do that there and we might want to take the number of stripes down so it doesn't look like you know a football pitch and um, the stick density, we can add some sticks. Now this is the really cool thing about, you know, this substance uh, PBR 200 is you can really, you know, start to mess around with the textures and they come with loads of little things that you can do and little changes that you can make just to kind of, you know, add a lot more realism to that grass. So, you know, if you haven't got it, I'd advise that you go on to Reillusion and buy it. It is a really, really cool, cool, um, way to texture up any environment and we'll just play around with the roughness here and get that looking a bit rougher and then we can even mess around with the tessellation and get that looking a bit more 3d as you'll see here if we play with the uh, multiplier you can start to you know bring that grass up I don't know if you're seeing that here but if we just go into about here you can see that will start to kind of um, you know, tessellate it a bit and, um, you know, make it a little bit uneven. You know, just a cool way to get some cool looks. But as you can see, it does some funny, funny wiggling here. So you don't want to go too much with that just to avoid. And you can still see it's doing it there. So you might want to just take the tessellation down to one to avoid, avoid that funny wobble that we're getting but really really cool so here's a start now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our set and we're going to go into our trees and we're going to start to put some trees down and um you know really get this outdoor scene going so um when we're in our trees we can start gardening and this is just a really quick way um to kind of you know add multiple trees at once um and you know you can just click and it will add them we'll just do one so you can just click and you, you know you can start to add 
add some trees to your scene. Pretty cool. So we'll just um, get rid of the first one that we placed down. If it lets me click it. Okay, so that's deleted the whole floor. Let's just go back, go into my scene. And we'll just try and find that first tree that we placed. Which will probably take a while by the looks of things. Okay, brilliant. So now we've got our outdoor scene. Not fully done yet though. So what we want to do now is just add some props and just, you know, uh, think of kind of uh, what we might might have outdoors. We might have a bench. Uh, let's get a bench. That sounds like it might work. Let's get a bench. So we'll just, um, we'll just get a bench and um, we'll put a nice bench in that scene. If I can remember exactly where I put my stuff. Bench. Okay, so let's look for a nice bench that kind of works for outdoors. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. Okay, cool, so we've got a bench. So does that look in proportion? Bench looks a bit large, so we're just gonna wanna take that down a little bit. Start to make that look a little more in proportion. That looks really cool. Okay, so now we'll add, we'll go back into our content pack and um, what we'll do is we'll add a sky and then we'll swap out the sky um, for some cool, some cool backgrounds to really kind of add some depth to the scene. So you just go into your um, textures and your diffuse map and then um, you could just add, add in one of these textures that may fit. So we'll keep that one there for now. Looks pretty cool. Now what we can do, we can click on our floor and we can go back into our materials and we just want to self illumination. We just want to add some self illumination. And yeah, now we can really see that, you know, starts to look more natural and more like a natural bit of grass really cool so now we have got our outdoor scene and we want to layer it up a little bit more so what can we do we can add some grass so this is where we can use our 2d uh, plants maybe add a few plants in the scene just get it looking really cool And uh, we may want to add uh, some magnolia plants. That will look cool. As you can see, guys, you know, in a matter of a few seconds, we've got a pretty cool looking scene. Okay, so now, now we've got a nice outdoor scene. And now what we may want to add is, you know, just a bit more, um, a bit more kind of um, environment. So we can add some rocks. We can add, um, if we go to rocks. Okay, no rocks found. So we'll just go into my props here. Just add some rocks into that scene. Okay, cool. We could just hit R and scale that down just to make it a little more realistic. And then we can hit W and position that. 
And we can just add a couple of rocks into the scene. And you know that'll just start to kind of add a bit more um, a bit more going on in the scene. Just a little bit more happening. Always looks cool when things are happening. So what else can we do to add to this scene? Right now we can click on our sky panel and we can go back on into our scene and click on our sky. And we can go back in the textures panel. We can add, um, oh, it's already got some self-illumination. Illumination, so we can keep that as it is. That looks pretty cool. Now we can blur that a little bit if we wanted to. Or we can blur it a lot more. Uh, we'll leave that a little bit blurred. Looks pretty cool like that. Now we've got, you know, a pretty basic out outdoor scene. So... What can we do now to add some more realism to that scene? Now we can take away the lights. If we go into our uh, scene panel here, we should see our lights up here. We could just uh, take them away. And we can then turn back the key light on. Now the key light will serve as uh, natural sunlight. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything here, so I'll just take that out and I'll add my own. Uh, I'll add a directional light. Sorry, the directional light will serve as a natural sunlight. And we can just brighten that up a little bit. And um, we can come over here and play around with the uh, brightness. Just to add like a, a, you know, outdoor in the sun kind of vibe and then what we can do is we could add a flare in our scene to emulate the uh, light my computer's lagging a little bit um, we can add a lens flare and that will serve as um, sunlight And we just want to get that all the way back. Okay, so we just want to come up here. Just bring that, bring that up a little bit more. And then we've got now um, some sunlight in our scene. You want to take that, you know, a lot further back just to kind of get it looking like it's, you know, high up in the sky. You can just have that there like that. And you know, now that looks like you've got some, you know, a nice sun beam going off in your scene. Looks pretty cool to me. And then what we could do is we could add some characters. Uh, uh, we could add uh, some stuff in the background. We could maybe add a park. Let's try and add, um, let's add a fence. So we'll add a, uh, we'll add a fence if I can find one. So we'll just go fence. Okay, no items in here, so I just need to come out of this folder. And I'll just type in um, fence. And um, we'll find a uh, cool fence to use. Um, See what one maybe suits the scene best. Maybe this one looks cool. It looks pretty cool. And um, we'll just add a fence and put it right there. 
and then we could just hold C, uh, hold CTR, control CTRL on your keyboard and drag, and that will duplicate that item. And um, now we've got a cool looking fence in our scene. And that just serves as maybe, you know, a barrier to the barrier to the outside world into the darkness. <laughs> kind of looks pretty, pretty scary over these parts, eh? Hey? Wouldn't want to hang out there on my own. So that's, um, that's pretty much kind of a cool way to, you know, create a quick outdoor scene. And, um, you know, you could go you could go a few steps further and, you know, add some more props and, you know, whatever you feel like. And um, we could add some effects. We could go to our popcorn effects and add, um, add some butterflies. That might actually, that might look quite cool. So if you go into your set panel and go into particle, that will bring up all your popcorn effects. And we can just look for the uh, butterfly effect, which I believe is in here. And we could just add add some butterflies to the scene. Because who doesn't like butterflies? And maybe we can have them hanging around the trees. Maybe the butterflies are among the trees. Looks pretty cool. Right. And um, there we have a pretty cool outdoor scene. So we've got, you know, a nice fence to serve as like a, you know, a breaker between the um, the floor line and the background image. As, you know, sometimes it looks too sharp and a bit unrealistic. So, you know, that fence serves as a real cool way uh, to block that out. And we have a scene here, so. Just a quick tutorial on how you can create a outdoor scene. Uh, really hope that helps and hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.